Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question. This is going to be a different video for you today. I wanted to present to you the new multimedia system of Honda. Right now we're in the Odyssey, but you're going to be able to find that system also in the new Accord. And there's going to be much more model equipped with it as soon as they're going to go under redesign. You know, the Honda multimedia system was really bad in some vehicle. It was slow, not fast to react. Thanks to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, sometimes it was a little bit better, but you know, I expected a little bit more from other rather than this old system that they've kept for so long. So right now you're going to see this one is really fluid, fast, it's just like an iPad. We're going to go through the main function that you're going to see in that system. We're not going to go through all, but still I wanted to show you how easy it is to use. So really an iPad style with the tile and by the way this section is going to be tactile but hey over here this is finally a volume button that you're going to find so I won't really raise the radio or put the satellite radio because the reception is kind of bad in the garage but hey let's look at all the different system so let's press Sirius XM one of the main thing that they improve over time there you go no reception is the channel list though the channel list is really impressive you can use that's scrolling right there, arrow to go down to the different menu. Simply scroll and do just like an iPad, but you can also press right there on 168. And you're gonna go to different channel much quickly than you used to do. You've got the keypad also that you can take out and press enter and there you go. And if I want this to be my favorite right there, I can define it. It's easy, quick and awesome. You can press sound and simply change a different setting when it's gonna to come to the sound, the center subwoofer, the audio zone that you can, speed volume compensation, everything is there. And once again, really easy to use. You've got the scan or even a category list that you might use. So let's go back into phone mode. The phone is connected right now via Bluetooth. So this is a regular setting, but if you press on this button while you're connected to Apple CarPlay, you won't be able to get to it. So you've got some recent call that, I, that I've done. I can go to my favorite contact. Right now, there's no way any favorite that I've put in. I've got some, the regular contact right there. And I can use also the keypad to simply dial and add to a favorite contact and it's gonna fall right there. I've got the setting button also, change the connected phone, the auto sync, the auto phone call transfer and the ringtone that I can use. So let's go back. Rear entertainment, this is mainly for the under DC that we have and there's a lot of feature for the kid. This is awesome. So HDMI connection, Blu-ray, how much further, even Spotify. You can stream music right now with the minivan that you have. So the kids are going to be happy. You can go into the streaming apps once again of TG. And right now, reception is not that good. But still, Tune Google, Happy Kids, Media Server, name it. You've got a great feature around here. So you can turn on or close the rear entertainment. You can see the null playing stuff. You can use cabin talk to talk to them. So you can enable the cabin talk through the speakers or through the headphones. And right now I'm, I'm listening to myself in the rear and you can cancel the use of the remote. And now they're gonna cry and they're not gonna be really happy with that. You've got some media server also that you can use or connect and you've got the USB connectors that you can use to stream some stuff or simply put some picture or a song on it. The setting right there, system, connection, vehicle, camera. There you go, you can access different information, the display, and talking about brightness, contrast, night mode, that's through there. Let's move back and go through the FM. By the way, yes, that's gonna be the music that you're gonna be listening often. You can use the seat button, and right now it's gonna search for a long time. You can use also the frequency button and if you want to define a favorite, you just press like that and there you go, it's done. You've got a station list that you can enable and you've got a scan feature that you can use. But once again, reception is not that great right now while I'm in the garage. So Bluetooth audio, if you want to switch phone or simply use your music and there you go. That's the music right now playing with my phone. I can use a browse feature 
go into my phone, my music, and by the way, my phone is French, you probably guessed it, songs, and you're gonna see that it's really easy to select a song and it's gonna play really quickly. So you can use the repeat feature or simply the random when it's gonna be time to go to the next track. Easy, fast, and if I want to raise the volume also, I need not to forget to put my phone to the maximum, the maximum volume while you're in Bluetooth mode because Android Auto Apple CarPlay is also here and that's a great feature. So let's plug my phone right now with the USB. The USB is located into the center console. So by the way, my phone is French. Sorry about that, but I can enable Apple CarPlay. Get into my phone feature. Right there, it's gonna appear. Take some time to load with the new iOS 11. Yeah, we're not gonna call anybody right now. Sorry, nobody. <laughs> Let's move back. Music choice, really easy to go in. Still playing my great song. And you've got also the apps that you can enable. And this is the apps of Apple CarPlay. It's not really the apps of Under right now that you're gonna see. So it's gonna take some time to appear. Right now I've got the definition right here but usually it's much more faster. Right now I've pressed on my home and there you go, you've got all the information that you needed. I'm wondering if iOS 11 slowed down a little bit the communication with the car and Apple CarPlay because I've got an iPhone 6 and really since the time I've put the latest spec, well, it's going slower than ever. So let's skip the Apple CarPlay part. You've got trip computer, you've got trip A, trip B, different information about your fuel consumption. And each time that I move back, I need to press on the next screen. That's kind of bad though. NFC manager, it's kind of cool if you want to auto configure your stuff. Navigation right here, this is gonna be the interface that you will see in the vehicle. So where to uh, go home. So calculating and there you go, it's ready. By the way, you're supposed to have a voice, but right now she didn't say nothing. So if I want to stop, I'll go there. But you can search a lot of feature with the trends, with the shortcut, with the save. So it's really a fast a GPS that you're gonna see here. So let's go to that screen. So navigation, USB connector, auxiliary input, and social playlist. And by the way, that is so cool. So I'm going to uh, show you exactly with cabin control. So Right now, yes, it's in French, sorry guys. So I can go into the audio feature or I can go into the music list. I can add a song and let's say that I want to add the Three Days Grace and ML I've become. And this is gonna be the social playlist of the family. So the next one is right there. Let's move the track. So everybody in the minivan can create their own personal music and the DJ up front can choose to play it or to skip it. And also with that nice application, you can control the climate control in the rear. Right now it's not activated, but if I press right there on the climate control, and by the way, I need to press once again for the feature to start. Let's start the minivan though. Okay, rear climate control. So it's gonna turn on in a few seconds. There you go. Pressing on will help a little bit. Still, I've got access to the temperature and I can access to the different feature via my phone if I want. And that's an awesome and cool feature that your kids will like. Even the power of the fan. And close it if I want. So, once again, technology everywhere inside the new Honda Odyssey. And that's awesome and that's a thing I like. So for the rest of the feature, you can also get into the navigation and get into the rear uh, entertainment system to give you what you want over a movie. And there's everything explained right there inside. But right now, remember, I've locked it a little while ago. So let's go into the rear entertainment and enable the remote. And there you go. I have full access right now instantly on my phone. Awesome system. 
And geez, I love those new technology. I didn't have that when I was young. So right now I'm kind of sad. <laughs> System update is right there. AM radio, forget about that. Cabin watch. This is an awesome feature that you will have inside the Honda Odyssey that you can watch your children, even if it's uh, during the night. And right now you can see some cool production stuff of car question. So let's go back into cabin watch, at and on spot, my Honda music, the clock, the cabin talk, we talk about it, family manager, Honda Lake calculator, and the texto. I can also see my message and notification. So remember, this is a tile-based system. So if I want to remove one or simply send one into the next page, I can do that. I can put them on top here with the frequently used apps. I can move them down to hide them use the, the tool tips and also drag it to the next page. So Bluetooth, let's say that I don't like that. I can hide and I can take Android Auto and send it to the next page and release it. And there you go. And if I want to simply get a new shortcut, by the way, uh, I kind of like to have my phone right here. No, not, not phone, let's say FM, okay? FM holding, there you go. And press done. So you've got also the possibility to go check on your phone status with the battery level, the signal string and everything like that. All your songs right here on top and all the shortcut that you put in. If you press on the clock, well, it's gonna be a big and beautiful display of the clock right now. So I hope you enjoyed that video. This is a quick review of the new Honda Multimedia System. If you think that we missed something you wanna talk about, feel free to comment in the section down there below. If you got any requests also that you want us to do something, feel free. Don't forget to subscribe to Car Question and do the thumbs up. I'm gonna see you another time on another video of Car Question. Peace.